Eine hier. Eine hier. Steiner is here. Get it, Steiner. How are you, buddy? I just uh, trying to do something here, but I haven't figured it out. Do I think I don't know? You know, a different thing. Okay, well, that's gonna be interesting. I'll figure that out later. All right. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Oh, welcome, one. Maybe all later. We are here. We are here with my new truck. This is my new truck. My new truck's so old. It's a 1951 Chevy Cabova. With the faded Country Thunder truck trailer on the back. It's faded. It's done its day. It's a little faded. I don't want to go to work. <laughs> don't blame you. <laughs> no one wants to go and spend hours making donuts. Sounds like something nuts to me. We're gonna go and turn this thing around. We are in Yakima and we're headed somewhere. I can never tell because I don't have the uh, the trucky overlay up now. All I can tell you is we're headed somewhere. She's beautiful. She's a beauty, mate. She's a beauty. Oh, someone farted. Oh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. The flat is is uh, not acceptable, to, but it still happens. It's just not acceptable. <laughs> oh, my God! Ah, Simon. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing this afternoon? Are you sure it was? <laughs> hey. Hey. If it was me that fired, you know about it. Cool story, bro. <laughs> cool story, bro. I love that one. I love it. 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 Sharing is caring. Gray air. Well. Sharing is caring. I guess that's better than saying gray hair. Oh, there it is. Simon has liked and shared. Gene has liked and shared. Grey hair. I like how he said that. Grey hair without saying hair. Uh, Simon's followage would be 17 days now, is it? Let me see. 24 days. Well, <laughs> see, you're getting up there now. 24 days. Uh, oh, we didn't we didn't even do the inspection. Oh, silly me. I was about to drive off without doing the inspection. 
Uh, there we go. Thank you. Who does the smelliest farts? That would be me. God, Steiner has followed for 65 days. 65 glorious days! <coughs> G'day, Gene. How are you? At least you're honest on that. Yeah, you know. I'm not going to hide it. <coughs> Something you should be proud of, you know. Smelly as farts, Dax! Ah, oh. how is everybody's morning, afternoon, evening? Mine is okay. As we uh, pulled this out of the uh, closet. It's been a bit bruised and battered, so. I didn't see a Prius. I did not see a Prius. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Keeps changing colour. Oh, excuse me. Oh, good. Uh, yep. Um, 60 days of friendship. That is true, man. 65 days of friendship. We've been doing stuff together for over two months now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what was that? My, me and my family. My family are doing well, man. Doing well. It's a uh, school holiday, so it's a bit of a rat race around here at the moment. But uh, once they get, once the young one gets back to school, the wife will be able to settle down a little bit. Followage for 71 days, Mr. Brooker. We are going to try and not wreck this truck tonight. We tried last night, didn't work out. We are going to try again tonight. Those posts don't matter. You know that. Oh my god, it's this... Oh no, it's this street. I don't like this road. I hate this road. It means slowing down. Nobody can do this road without slowing down. Today I had a 90% wreck-free street. 90%! Well, let's see if I can do better. Frank Blackman has hit the like button. Thank you, Frank. How are you, buddy? Excuse me.
Oh, 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 no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, come on, back over. Yes. No one wrecked. It's back on the road. <laughs> Haven't hurt anybody yet. <laughs> no damage to be seen there. Jack Gavin has liked the stream. G'day, Jack. How are you? Thank you for the like, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gene is laughing at me because, hey, we did not wreck it. Yes, we slipped onto a guardrail, bounced off the guardrail, back onto the road. It was, no, it's not wrecked. It's not wrecked. I will not accept that as a wreck. So far, we are wreck free. This is an old truck, you know. Things can go wrong and probably will, but we're gonna try and make sure that this truck stays in one piece. got around that corner. Oh, well. <coughs> Excuse me. Something happened here. Chewie said something. Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm good for a trailer load of country hundreds on its way. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. You got it. It's coming. <laughs> We're not wreck free anymore. Goodness gracious me. Chewie has likes. G'day, my friend. How are you? Mr. Ricard himself. Radio man extraordinaire. Yeah, go on, go on, take it, that's it, done. Okay, no more wreck free, that's it. 16 minutes. <coughs> uh, we, we, we wrecked, we wrecked. We didn't hit anybody else, but we, we wrecked. Look at that, that's wrecked. That is wrecked. Look, even the, even the bottom's bent. Even the bottom's bent. Look at the bend in it. Oh no, we've bent the, sh the chassis of the, tr the trailer as well. Look at that, it's bent. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> Nicely done guys, thank you, thank you. Thank you for uh, believing in this old man. Knowing that he could never have a wreck free stream. <laughs> Restart the timer, yes that's right. Uh, from now. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, mate. It's all padded inside. Your country thunder's not going to die. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I reckon if uh, Chewy and I had millions of dollars, I reckon we'd give kicks country a run for their money with country thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than a country blunder. That's it. <clears throat> if we had millions of dollars between us, I reckon we would have given Kicks Country a run for its money. I sit there and listen to that radio station because it's pretty much the only radio station we can listen to that plays country there is triple m country i guess and i just don't like that unless it's poppy country they just won't play the independent country artists of Australia. The backbone of Australian country is not Lee Kernigan or the Wolf Brothers or Amber Lawrence or Adam Brand or anybody with a with a record contract with ABC. <coughs> It's the battlers that go out there, perform their stuff, create albums, and the only way they get heard is by getting out on the road. Friendly competition's fine, man. I, 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 I like Justin, I like Crossy. I think that's fine, but I think there's a better format to be had than just pandering to the the ones with big PR companies and record companies <clears throat> which seems to be all that uh, Kicks Country does they do not play much Greg Champion that's for sure now there you see that's what I mean man that's what I mean they certainly don't play any David Daniel I know that much Got a, we got a big pile up here, so we're just gonna crash through it here. Sorry about that. Greg Champion, yeah, that's one of them. That's a host of many. <laughs> hey, it's got to be <laughs> it's got to be better than Robbie Williams doing it for the kids at 50 years old. <laughs> that was shocking. <clears throat> Whoever thought that putting Robbie Williams on stage again for the AFL Grand Final was a good thing. It didn't do too bad with the John Farnham song, but you know. Then when he came out with the kids song, and he didn't even use Kylie Minogue, he used bloody Delta Goodrum.
so for people that don't know, and Chewy's probably one that doesn't know because he wasn't here last night, this uh, this truck trailer combination all comes from our good friend uh, in New Zealand. Um, it is uh, the Iron Beast is looking at my rat. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, well, you know, let him do let him do one thing at a time, my friend. Um, he's supposed to be fixing. He was, he's supposed to be building my truck right now. <laughs> <coughs> So yes, this talking about Iron Beast. Iron Beast created uh, this uh, this package right here, the uh, Chevy 1951. He he calls it 1951 Chevy cab over, and the uh, trailer have all been created by Iron Beast New Zealand. And the only way that you can get these into your game. Is to become a patron become a patron download his mods very simple if you're not a patron you can't get the link to the mods can you so that's how we got there that's how you can get there too just look up www.patreon.com forward slash iron beast nz and uh, get on board get on board he does a whole heap of other stuff as well he does some skinning not that he did this skinning I did this skinning today myself um, but he does some skin packages for people as well um, he's creating a truck for me specifically for you know, it's exclusively for me uh, whether I decide to sell it on to other people or not um, is yet to be determined, but it is my truck, and that should be coming very soon. And then, of course, our Mr. Steiner down there in the chat, he likes rat rods. He likes trucks that have been made into hot rods. Oh, there's that country thunder blunder again. <laughs> oh no, this one's okay. This one's okay. We can keep this one on the road. Nah, this one's fine. <clears throat> so the rat rods may be making a uh, display in your ATS streams soon. Who knows? Oh, excuse me, I'm so tired. Oh, Mr. Meatloaf, man. <laughs> I remember Meatloaf. Oh my God, at the MCG, what an absolute nightmare that was. An absolute nightmare. I mean, you know, what made him think that he could do a world tour and still pull it off. You're heading to work. I thought you didn't want to go to work today. No more donuts making. Don't be making donuts. <laughs> no donuts in the parking lot, okay? <laughs> yes, the rat rods are something that uh, Steiner is uh, very interested in and um, so we're talking to our friend Iron Beast about uh, creating uh, some rat rods. So it could be on the cards very soon. Hup! Oh, that one was, that one was, oh, come on. You could have got back over. Oh, there's a fart. What a shame. What a shame. I don't like putting this truck down like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the uh, manufacturer of the uh, truck. I am listening. I'm always listening. Ah, oh. And ladies and gentlemen, there 
is the unicorn rainbow fart that has been bought out for your smelling pleasure. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Hello to the person in Twitch laughing away. Yes, the person laughing away in Twitch. Mm. I think that might be Steiner on his way out. Steiner likes to do that on his way out. There it goes again, ladies and gentlemen. Just in case once wasn't enough, there is the uni the unicorn rainbow fart that has been set free for your smelling pleasure. <clears throat> Smell the rainbow. <laughs> hey, you've got to, you've got to know that one, Chewy. Come on, <laughs> smell the rainbow. It's not, not quite the uh, advertisement I remember. I think, I think the advertisement was taste the rainbow. Who was the company that used the slogan taste the rainbow? <laughs> My fight will go on. Yes, it will. Absolutely. <laughs> there it is. Man, that could put anyone off Skittles. <laughs> Smell the rainbow. <laughs> the Skittles fart. Yes. Ah, oh, that's what it is. That's what we have to call it from now on. The Skittles fart. Thank you for that. Ah, oh, and you still didn't let me get back up on it. The coach knocked me out. The coach wasn't even supposed to be going down that way. My goodness. Just having a hard night tonight. The coach was going to have a rest, I suppose. <clears throat> Skittles it was, yes. Taste the rainbow was the slogan, but now we're changing it. It is the unicorn rainbow fart. Smell the rainbow. Oh. We need some more people in here. We need people. Oh, I know it is again. <clears throat> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. For your smelling pleasure, the unicorn rainbow fart has been released. Smell the rainbow. My goodness. A last salute. Ah, is that what it was? Okay. I have not seen Charlotte or Rose. Uh, Charlotte was in a couple of nights ago. She wasn't in last night. And she hasn't been here tonight, no. Charlotte and Rose. You just you just made me think of a song. I just I just saw this guy just recently. We're gonna crash here. Let's just crash into the back of a truck because that makes perfect sense. <clears throat> Let's 
Charlotte and Rose were reunited. This time they said it was for real. They took him back to where it started. He can melt a heart of steel. Hey, I don't even know the words to that song, but anyway. I'm going to make dove with holes in them. Ah, oh, you mean dough, yes. Holy dough. Holy dough. Holy dough, Batman. Mmm. If you want to know where the donuts come from, ask our mate Steiner. Hey! How is what? Oh, not you again. Not the un... Not the unfinished sentences. Unfinished sentences <laughs> has caring is caring. liked and shared. Thank you. <clears throat> Don't mind this person because he doesn't understand what. Uh, Da, da, da. Thank you. Have a safe journey. Look at that. How is I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Keep going, keep going, move it, baby, move it. You got to move it, move it. You got to move it, move it. You got to move it, move it. Let's move it, baby. We have nine shares tonight. Seven reactions tonight. Mm. We have fifty six comments tonight. Mm -hmm. Takes him back to where he started. He could melt a heart of steel. I have no idea why you even talk if you can't finish sentences. Because it just confuses the hell out of people. Ah, oh, you didn't need that tail light. It's okay. I'll be lucky for a few minutes, have to, who let the horses out? Mm, mm, mm. Who let the horses out? Mm, 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 mm. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Chewy not streaming tonight, hold on a second. What night is it? Monday night. I know Chewy streams Tuesday nights uh, on uh, in Facebook and uh, Thursday nights. I hope I under I understand nothing. I understand absolutely nothing because you don't make any sense.
Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sunday nights. Right, well, there you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, thank goodness we got back on our... There's not, no, no, no trouble, don't worry. The Country Thunder package is still on its way. Oh. Monday Arvo on Twitch only, okay, all right. Excuse me, uh, excuse me, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to jump in here for a second. I just want to see if I can do something here. Um, hold on a second. Just stick around. I haven't forgotten. I just want to go over here. I just want to place this in here. There we go. Paste. Hmm. Paste. Okay. All right. So, I just wanted to come over here for a bit and explain that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you? Where is it? I can't see it. Mm, here. Weekend! Days off! Don't wanna work no more! Gonna take my time now that it's mine! And I don't wanna be where there's no growth! You're gonna This is the light! These are the real things! There you go. Coca-Cola is a part of your life and you can't beat the feeling, right? Thank you for that, Coke. Coke is wonderful. Coca-Cola, that's the one. That's the one that is part of my stream. If you are Team Pepsi, I don't care. This is a Team Coke stream. Now for the coffee. Ah. Yay! Alright, let's get back to the game. I just had to... I just had to stop for a moment and sort that out. Coca-Cola sponsor this dude. Yes! Absolutely. I'll start putting Coca-Cola uh, insignia on all my all my trucks. No problem. <coughs> Country Thunder, sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> Could you imagine if they actually watched that and then offered sponsorship? That would be funny as. <laughs> if they do watch it, they'll probably get me for copyright infringement for using one of their 1980s advertising campaigns. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. All I can do is laugh. <sighs> K 
country done a top 20 countdown. Now, that, you know, if we could do that and stream without getting copyright infringement, that would be hilarious. I would drive this truck while listening to the top 20 countdown that I would count down. And this week, in the 20th position, <laughs> falling from grace, <laughs> is Hayley Jensen. <laughs> Rick D's in the weekly top 40. I used to listen to that when I was when I was a ch or child or a teenager in the in the in the eighties. Rick D's in the weekly top 40 on 2SM in Sydney before 2SM became a country music station, which was very interesting. 2SM became Kick AM, which was a country music which was the first commercial country music station um, in Australia, mind you. So that's got what started the ball rolling. Kick AM. Uh, Andy Church. Andy Church and Gavin Miller were the two main uh, 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 broadcasters at the time. I was friends with both of them. I actually got to see Lee Kernigan. Uh, at the Bridge Hotel, courtesy of Kick AM, and the boys there, and I actually got to see The Wheel perform at a place that don't I don't think it, uh, exists anymore. It was called The Ranch, and it was in uh, the northern suburbs of Sydney, and it was a really nice venue. Um, I can't remember if it was Brookvale or, or what. But uh, really nice venue. That, I think that's where my country music journey started. <clears throat> Kick AM. Gavin Miller actually left country and went to the normal pop stuff. He actually ended up over here in Western Australia. Um, can't remember whether it was Nova or who he was... Uh, and uh, don't crash my truck. <laughs> well, we're trying not to. We haven't. I, I, oh, oh, who is <laughs> who is driving this thing? Hey, eh? this is just not on. <laughs> Where's the brakes? 18th blunder truck. <laughs> 17th position, trucking disaster, and the 16th position, road sign ahead. <laughs> I think your head sounds better. 15th, ash fell in my hair. I heard Rick D's on Fox FM in the 90s. There you go, in the 90s. Well, I heard him in the 80s, way back in the 80s. Rick D's in the weekly top 40. Yes. He was our weekend warrior for many years of what was the best music to be listening to. Let's uh, let's skip a let's skip a few um, top five. Wolfman Jack. His disco duck was quackers. That's right. <laughs> um, Wolfman Jack wasn't here in Australia, so yeah, I don't know. Even though Rick D Rick D's was an American as well, um, it was simulcast across Australia on many different radio stations. Um, but Wolfman Jack never really got 
I've heard of him, of course I've heard of him, but never really got uh, any attention here in Australia. It's like Howard Stern, never got any attention here in Australia. Amazing, amazing guy. You have to be nuts to do what he does. But he got shut down. We all do eventually, we all get cancelled, someone gets offended by something we say or something we do and that's the end of it, isn't it? <clears throat> I feel like the other night we lost, we might have lost some uh, followers because I was a bit political the other night, two nights ago. But I was just being me, I'm just, you know. I have a voice, why not voice it? <clears throat> Be true to thyself, is what I say. If you don't like it, you don't have to listen. Wolfman Jack, my father knows the name, so I'm guessing he was uh, relayed at some point. Okay, oh, yes. As for Alice Cooper, doing his Five hour show daily, I think Triple M. Classic rock plays it still. My goodness. Uh, this is how, look, you know, we think about these big names, you know, back in the 80s and 90s, like, you know, Wolfman Jack and Rick Dees. Um, we can't think of huge Australian radio announcers unless they've pissed people off. <laughs> like John Laws, forever pissing people off. I mean, he was fantastic. At pissing people off. What was the other one? Stan Zamanik. Stan Zamanik was only good at pissing people off. <laughs> um, Kyle Sanderlands is only good at pissing people off. Those those broadcasters are the ones that stick in our minds because they are in the news for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> <clears throat> He's not talent, he's a hack. Absolutely he's a hack. <laughs> and I, th <laughs> I think Stan Zamanik's a hack as well. You know, uh, I give I give John Law's credit where credit's due, but, <laughs> you know, but this is what I mean. These people became famous for being downright idiots and downright abusive towards people. Um, I never liked Kyle Sanderlands. I thought he was a twat. Can we still say that and get away with it? Or will I get cancelled? I can't remember. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Sanderlands is not talent, that's for sure. Um, you know, uh, but you know, when you think about, uh, oh, what was the guy? Who was the guy? Let's see. I don't know if you'll know him, mate. Um, he was around for years. Ah, oh, what was his name? He was on 2SM, which became 2WSFM, uh, Western Sydney FM. Ah, uh, he was he was this, in the same era. Yeah, okay, there you go. Interesting to hear Stan. Stan Zamani was nothing but a complainer. He was scripted to be like that on air, at which he hesitated at first, but the rest is history. 
That is that is very interesting. I had no idea because all I've ever heard of him is, you know, the way he talked down to people and just abused people. He just I him, I never I never liked him. I never liked him. Who was the who was the DJ back in the eighties? Two S M. Let me let me see. Hold on a second. I've got to I've got to get this in my head. Um, oh, let me see if I can figure it out. This is very going back a very long time. But this is what I mean by people that like. We're never going to remember the names, you know, DJ Dax, as I was known when I was doing music uh, with broadcasting. We're never going to remember the names, you know, Robert Ricard. We're just not, are we? I am. He's my mate, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what was his name? Uh, 2 WSFM. Oops. WSFM uh, presented. <sighs> not anymore. In the not in the nineties. Pure gold, that's right. Pure gold was uh, uh, Andy, Andy Church who used to be pure gold. Um, Two WS. Amanda Keller was even there. But then there's Barry. Barry Bissell. All right. Alan Jones and Kyle Sanderlands are. Um, Barry Bissell. Now yeah, there's another one. Um, Two SM. Let me look up like two SM presenters. Two SM. Two SM. What the eighties? Eighties. 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 Not nineties. Eighties. Two mm. SM. What's his name? Of course, there was Dave Sutherland and Ron E. Sparks. They were two names that you won't hear ever again. Oh my goodness. There's class from the last couple of decades, yes, but... Radio's not what it used to be, of course, but, you know, I, um, I would love to see, you know, someone stand a test of time. Um, you're never gonna, you know, once Justin Thompson retires from kicks or leaves kicks or whatever, we're not gonna, 
remember him as being the greatest country DJ in Australia, are we? Yes, Ron is still doing IDs for regional stations, that is correct. <sighs> the life of a radio, I mean... Unfortunately these days radio is all about advertising. If you can get the advertising money in, then you can make a radio station work. Without the advertising money, then it's no point having a radio station. I hope Ray Hadley isn't remembered as the greatest country music DJ in Australia. Well, no. <laughs> Ray Hadley, hey, oh my God. Well, you know, Gavin Miller was all right when he was doing his, uh, his part for Kick AM. Uh, Andy Church was also good. Um, I think Gavin was better than Andy because Andy uh, came for like came from like pure gold country. I mean, pure gold, you know, classic songs to a, a country AM radio station. So he wasn't really up with all the, the country artists at the time. It's back when Fiona Kernigan was trying to do country. And Shanley Dell was a thing. Shanley Dell's Jenny Morris' sister, if you didn't know. <clears throat> but this is, this is what I mean. Who is going to be considered... country music's best DJ in Australia considering that the whole radio situation is segmented to into community radio. I mean, we have Triple M trying to do Triple M country, but that's just nothing. Canberra had a radio station called Star, yes. Probably not still there. Probably, probably not there anymore. Kick AM was long gone. Um, Kicks Country. I mean, if I don't know who owns Kicks Country, but you know. It's all right to have Justin Thompson as the the uh, the man behind the brand type thing as the the super DJ, but he's not the be all and end all of kicks. And if it wasn't for the owner spending millions of dollars to to franchise uh, Kicks Brooks's radio network in Australia. <laughs> Um, that's what it is. Kicks Country is Kicks Brooks's country radio station in America, and so they bought it. They bought the name to Australia. It became Kicks. So, so it became one of those relay stations. Grant Broadcasters, which recently sold off assets to ARN. Who was the who was the person that bought Kicks to Australia? Because Kicks, Kicks was Kicks is actually the American. It is Kicks Brooks's radio network. It's owned by Kicks Brooks. I do know that much. So who was the guy that bought Kicks to Australia?
Yes, he did. He did. He actually had his own show, Relayed from America, on Kicks Country. Yes. That was part of the deal in the beginning. It's so hard to remember, but I know someone bought it to it. I don't think it was. I don't think it was Grant Broadcasters. I don't think it had anything to do with them back when it be, first began. It's definitely ARN doing it now. Doing a little searching on how it started. Good man. Good man. I, I like. I like doing this radio history. So I reckon we got Kicks Country, right? So I reckon we should speak to Ronnie Dunn and we should get uh, the name Country Dunn Right. D U N N. <laughs> Start our own Country Dunn Right. <laughs> Kicks country and country done right. <laughs> we'll go into healthy competition with each other. <laughs> we just need we just need some millionaire to back it. <laughs> Multi millionaire because it costs tens of millions of dollars to own a broadcasting license. <clears throat> <laughs> done, done. <laughs> Country done right. We can broadcast us. We can broadcast a show directly from America called Ronnie's Rodeo with Ronnie Dunn presenting. There we go. Hey, we could do the same shit. <laughs> Fairfax Media owned it. That's right. I remember Fairfax Media owning it. Yes. Scaife! Oh, that filthy mongrel. <laughs> Fairfax, my goodness. It wasn't it wasn't Scase that brought kicks to Australia either. <sighs> This stream just got interesting. This stream just got interesting because we're going over the history of one radio station. <laughs> but it's the only radio station that's managed to secure commercialization, I guess you'd say. They're not just, even though they're in a regional area, they're in Rockhampton in Queensland. They are, uh, they are considered the commercial station, I guess. I 
think we've made it to our uh, location while we've been talking about this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We've been driving our life away and... Uh, Well, there's a minor competition to that called UCB. UCB. Who is UCB? United Chartered Broadcast. No, I don't Licenses nationwide playing commercials on narrow cast licenses. Ooh. <laughs> well, <look. laughs> we can't. We can't say anything about the Christians now, can we? Christians can do no wrong. Just ask Scott Morrison and his in his uh, in his cronies at uh, what's that what's that place? Hills. All oh, right, we got there. We got that one done. Let's see. Do we have any? Uh, Messages of great importance. No, no messages of great importance today. Okay. Right. Let's see what's left to do then. Where are we going now? To Texicana. We might not get there by the time it's done. No. Uh, let's go to Texacana, that's alright. The time has arrived, President Major. The world awaits your commands. Let's see if we can find a uh, fuel station somewhere. Before we run out of fuel. There's one up here. Somewhere up here. Keep left. And then continue straight. Continue straight. No, they don't. No. They don't like uh, telling where they came from, that's for sure. Seven point five. <sighs> it's awful that these rich I don't I don't know how to say it. awful that people like Robert and myself who have worked hard in radio for years um, will never
get to the fact of being able to own your own radio network because it's just for the rich people. It's just for the rich. When a radio license becomes available in Australia, it goes to auction. So whoever is the highest bidder gets it. And little old me, don't think they're going to accept 20 bucks. Hey, I'll give you 20 bucks for that license. <laughs> What's New Zealand's model? Because right. our model sucks. Absolutely sucks. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Thank you, Mr. Manalang. Thank you for the sharing. It's good to see you. Not that I can see you, but I know you're there. <laughs> oh! Stop looking at other things while you're supposed to be looking at directly in front of you. 45 shares. But uh, this country is so divided when it comes to radio, especially with country music radio. Country music radio, you're not going to hear it unless it's some crossover artist. Like, you might hear Keith Urban, you might hear, oh, if you're looking at uh, Australian artists, you might hear Casey Barnes, possibly. You might hear... Uh, Hayley Jensen in uh, crossover style radio stations. One what without a license, but must air a notice every four hours and can't interfere with it. anyone else. They're reserved two, se two sections of the FM band for them. Wow. Well, digital's all the all the all the rage now, I think, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Digital. Who loved me? Emmanuel loves me. Hello. There we go. Thanks for the like, man. Thanks for the shares. Thank you for all that. 88 shares have happened tonight so far. Eight reactions. We got the uh, Iron Beast. Hi, Manny. How are you, buddy? We got the Iron Beast uh, little truck out again tonight. We just put our own little colours on it. She's a bit faded. Mm, something like 88 to 89 and 106. 207.9 is reserved. I'm still here paying bills. So much fun. Can you pay my bills? First of all, we need uh, to pay for a broadcasting license. That's going to cost you a couple million dollars. You got that? Just hanging around?
Ha! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Sorry, I knew that one was going to happen. Way too fast in that corner. Pick off my money tree. Well, okay. I'll come looking at you for a loan very soon. We'll get that. Uh, we'll get that radio. We'll get that radio station set up. There's actually two narrowcast loan licenses near here that have no owners. Been waiting a while. Yeah, but how how far can you how far can you broadcast with a narrowcast license? You know, like you can't do it kicks. You're only going to be in the local area. But then kicks. But then kicks is. Uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Robert Olson and Rabbit Pine have liked the stream. Thank you for the double, Robert. Thank you. I am just uh, trying to get myself out of a, a bit of a situation here. See, this is the strange thing, right? Pretty much. Kicks runs on two DJs, a sales team, obviously to be able to get, uh, Kicks have narrow cast licenses too, yes. That's right, that's what I'm thinking. Because a lot of their stuff is digital now. They're flogging the they're flogging their um They're flogging well actually flogging the iHeart radio app right now. They're saying they've got rid of their app, their own app, and they're now on iCountry iHeart iHeart Country Radio. They're now on the iHeart app. So I don't know. I think, you know, had it, is digital the way around it? Is the digital, is digital about to change the broadcasting? Like, are we going to get rid of the FM band and the AM band? Because digital is there. We just have servers with and digital because that's how I, that's how I listen to kicks right now well, that's how I have to listen to triple M country yeah so everybody's getting out of their old apps and everybody's jumping onto iHeart radio as if this is the so iHeart's becoming the Spotify of radio <laughs> If iHeart's becoming the Spotify of radio, then how much do they make by having a, a radio station on their platform? I listen to iHeart when I'm in my car. Look, Mo, just a little. You're always a little bit sleepy. You're always a little bit sleepy. Bye bye. Sorry. Not sorry. I'm just wondering if I jumped out too quickly and there was, there was something we could have done. Like I still have, I still have the station. I still have it. I haven't really got rid of it. I just turned it off, basically. I'm just wondering if I just jumped the gun and...
Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The Unicorn Rainbow Fart has been released for your smelling pleasure. Smell the rainbow. Where was I last night? Oh my god, here we go again. Where was I last night? I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. Were you in my stream? You were in my stream. I'm sure you were in my stream for a while. <sighs> Donut time. Donut time. It's time to get those, those things and take the center out. Do you eat the center? Go a pack, pack of Smarties instead. Okay. I'm just thinking, Robert. Did I pull out way too early? Is there something that we could have done with Country Thunder? Again, again. Oh, and just dropping this thing on its side like anything tonight. Ah, well, there we go. <laughs> Knock him into the ground. Why? That's what I say. <coughs> coffee. I need coffee. Yes. You think it could still work? All right. What we need to do. Think. Mr. Rickard, you and I need to have a chat. You need a mod where you drive on your sign. <laughs> that way when you crash, you will end up on your wheels. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's sounding good. That's sounding good. Maybe I should just watch what I'm doing and actually drive properly. But the problem is I drive all day, so... When I get onto this thing, I really don't follow the rules. I just go nuts. This is my release from a day of driving, I guess. You're trying... <laughs> You're a trailer load of country thunder. Yes, it's still, it's, look, it's still safe. It's on its way. It's on its way. Don't worry. It's on its way. Ah, oh, you know. Yes, I, I, I understand that. Um, we need to actually talk. We need to actually talk properly because I think it's a lot more involved than just getting shows and putting them on the radio. Um, anybody can do that. I uh, guess, you know, we have, we have It's My Country doing that. We don't want to do the same shit that he's doing. <coughs> And we sort of want to compete to some level with the likes of Kicks. But I mean, I, I think, I guess what what any good radio station needs. Oh no! 
right, come on. Yeah. All right, that's the way we do it. Get your money for nothing and your chicks for free. <laughs> All right. If I'm going to think of bringing it back, I need to bring it back with someone that's serious about being involved in it and has their idea of where it should go as well. I need a partner. Can't do it by myself. It's driving me nuts doing it by myself. But yes, it's, it's certainly a thought and uh, I know you have a lot of respect for maybe not me. What? Maybe not you. Oh, maybe not you. What? 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 That time. I'm trying to read everything that's going through. Donut time. Yes, I read that. Maybe not me. Not you. Hmm. Um. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I am thinking... Oh, goodness. That was just stupid. Because I was thinking of something else. That was just me being silly. Sorry, guys. That's alright. We'll just put it where we left it. In that case, I do know someone who obtains a lot of licenses through... Contains a lot of licenses, though. If that's where you're looking, well, that's what I'm saying. We need to chat. We need to have a chat to. I'm a rocker, dude. Country rocks. Just haven't listened to the right country. Nicely done. Nicely done, that one. <laughs> Poor truck and trailer. <laughs> yes, licenses cost a lot of money. Someone's got the licenses already. It's a kangaroo truck. Good jump. It's a good jump. Hmm, lots of food for thought here, man. I, you know, the one thing that, you know, stops me from being in the radio side of things is that there was no money in it for me. Um, so, which means I end up running out of, running out of, hours to do things because I actually have to go and do a real job to pay for this thing to happen. So that has been one of the contributing factors as to why it ended. Um, having a sales team on hand that could, you know, sell advertising slots and 
Whoa! Oh! I didn't see that coming. Sorry. Oh, I didn't see that coming. No, I didn't see that coming. So let's go down the end. Sharing is caring. Many, 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 many. How many manys do we have? Oh, there's three there. Many, many, many. Sharing is caring. Many, many, many. He's throwing it out there. He's throwing it out there. He's got the gauntlet out. Up to 111. 111, baby. 111 shares. Many, many, many has liked the stream. Thank you, many. Thank you for the shares. And thank you for jumping on board and giving us a like. Hi, my friend. There's many, many's. There is, there is many, many's. That is true. I did not hit you. Just a slight split. Oh. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Manny. This is just for you. See, Coca-Cola is a part of your life. You can't beat the feeling. Now, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> it says we've got 10 viewers wow that's so cool we're getting there let's get it happening people welcome 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 if you just joined us come and say good day in the chat we love to chat we love to chat. Emotional, damn it. We like to move it, move it. Ah, oh, I'm more of a sprite person. Well, there you go. Emotional damage. Uncle Roger has made his way into the stream tonight. He's feeling a bit emotional. So, yes, uh, there's a lot that has to be discussed before I think about bringing her back. Bringing her back from the dead.
I'm going to go and find somebody to make and bottle Country Thunder Cola. Country Thunder Cola. <laughs> Manny, Manny, Manny has followed for two hundred and sixty nine days. Than the cola coins, country cola. I don't know. I think country thunder. You know, thunder cola. Country thunder moonshine. <laughs> moonshine, baby. <laughs> ah, you're still here too. Steiner's still in the wings, making his donuts. Listening to us ramble on while driving this sexy beast of a truck bought to us by Iron Beast New Zealand. For all your trucking needs, all you need to do is become a patron of Iron Beast New Zealand. Just go to www.patreon.com forward slash Iron Beast NZ and you too could be driving the 1951 Chevrolet cab over with the very very old I don't even know what year it was built Fro Hafer trailer Talking crap, country thunder cola, country thunder moonshine, country thunder trucking. It all makes perfect sense, mate. It all makes perfect sense. Talking crap, talking radio stations, maybe, if we've got the right people involved. And, and uh, you know, it looks like we can, you know, actually get paid for what we do. You know, I'm sure Justin Thompson wouldn't do it if he wasn't getting paid for it. Crossy certainly wouldn't do it if he wasn't getting paid for it. He's got a family. <laughs> so have I. That's one of the reasons that I had to get out of it is because I have a family to support and I can't support it by getting nothing from radio. <sighs> so if we can get the right people involved and we can get some money that's going to pay wages for our people I'm all for bringing country thunder back or country done right <laughs> if you dream it they will come back well dreaming it's one thing like you know oh of course I haven't yes Yes, they get paid for their guest spots. My goodness. They get you, Justin Thompson gets paid to compare when he goes and compares country thunder, you know, country rocks festival or bloody he gets paid to do his spots for um the Tamworth Country Music Festival or Groundwater. Oh yeah, they get paid they get paid every time they do something. They get paid for sure. Okay, okay, all right. That shouldn't be too hard for him because it's already there. It's already established. All he has to do is play around with the chassis. Mm, 
Yes. And not even that, just, just remember that uh, uh, ah, the tanks with the steps on it. Oh, fantastic. You've been t talking to him for a while, hey? <laughs> I see that you are, you know, what about my truck that he's supposed to be building before anything else, man? <laughs> Kill me now. Uh, um... Only, I've only been waiting for this truck for the last three months. It's all good. Uh, uh, so... Oh, I lost it again. What? Just 30 minutes today. They haven't... Yes, look. So, look. What even what what annoys me more is that yes they get paid they get paid shitloads of money for what they do all right that's and that's good if I was in that position I'd be fine too I'd be happy so I like doing what I was doing if I was getting paid for it I'd like it more all right everybody likes to get paid for what they do right. I like to get paid for streaming too, but you know, <laughs> who knows? Anyway, what I was saying, Justin Thompson is so involved. He's on the board of the CMAA. Nothing happens without Justin Thompson knowing. I don't, I don't think he should be on the board of the CMAA. I think that uh, makes for a, uh, conflict of interest actually because he does all the social media stuff for the CMAA Facebook page so when they have new music on Fridays and he puts all the new music out he's the one that does all the, the artwork for the new music and stuff like that when my last single came out to Australian country radio I wasn't at it when Anderson Lane brings out stuff for her new albums, it's not added. If, you know, Greg Champion brought out something new, it wouldn't be added. You know, he gets to decide who gets heard. Yes, yes, he's on the he's on he's been on the board for a couple of years now. So he gets to decide who gets heard. He gets to decide. Planter vs Hunter has liked the stream. Thank you very much. Yeah, so he gets to d decide who's getting heard, who the new music Friday is, or you know, you go what you go check out the CMAA website. And you see how many independent artists are actually put in their little Friday post. This is the new music that's come out this week on uh, in Australia. It's not great. Who love our passages from heaven? Passages from heaven. They're now so big, they're creating their own, like, they're not creating their own festivals, but they're creating their own parts within festivals. Like, Kicks Country has its own stage at Groundwater, you know, where, you know, uh, Kicks Country hosts a night on the main stage at Tamworth. Um, and he's a board member on the CMAA. 
I would rather have I would rather have Alan Caswell on the board of the of the CMAA than Justin Thompson. John Williamson. Yes, well, look. There you go. Classic. Alan Caswell is the, the greatest Australian songwriter for the last however many decades he's been doing it. I can't remember how long it was. Yes, John Williamson. Now, Dobe is good, but I don't know whether Dobe knows what he's doing. Last time I spoke to Dobe, he had no idea about independent country music. But yet he's independent. <sighs> the bushwhackers are as independent as they come. But yet, he has no idea about the shape of the country music industry in Australia. <clears throat> How much bad things had we done if I have been in Australia? You need to get a bunch of new artists that want their name out there and put them on a radio station for streaming on ATS. Oh my god. My son's going crazy. Hold on. Hold, Hold on. Hold on, people. Hold on. I came back. I came back. So I hear Trucker Radio is a real station for ATS in the game. 
that's an idea right there bringing it to that platform for streaming while trucking and safe from copyright yeah okay so here's your problem that I have with that so in the game in the game all right <clears throat> Bear with me, sorry. In the game, we have our radio player, all right? Where we can stream Truckers FM. We can stream any one of these, even Country Thunder Australia, was there, was there. I had it in there, all right? The problem is, when you're streaming on Facebook, or Twitch, or YouTube, YouTube's worse. If you're playing somebody else's music, you will get copyright strikes. It's not safe from copyright. I could play any one of those, and right there I would get a copyright strike for playing that stuff. Yeah, so that's why you don't hear people playing the radio stations inbuilt into the game because they are not safe from copyright strikes. If you do play that, see, I thought Big Rig FM, excellent. No worries, let's play that while we're, while we're running. Unless you have permission, but you can't get permission from every artist. You can't get permission from every record company. You can't get permission from you know, every PR agent, every every writer that's written a song, or you know that's the strange thing. You know, you just can't do it. Yes. So yes, in my game, it's here. Yes, in my game, it was here. I I put it in there. But it's one of those things that it's very hard to actually get added into the game. And it's only added into the game if you, um, yeah, people you know, like Radio X 98.1 from Canada, Quebec. I mean, there's obviously people getting in there. Um, how they do it, I don't know. I have to look at King Country, Christian, Christian. You can get permission, but how does Facebook yeah exactly they still ping you exactly exactly you can have all the permissions in the world you can be <laughs> and this is a funny thing I used to do and you know this Robert I used to do a, a segment um, called Dax uh, Dax chats where I would chat to artists from Australia and from overseas and I might get them to sing a song while we were having the interview while they were singing the song, I was getting, I was getting copyrighted, copyright infringements for them singing live on my broadcast. There you go. I've had that happen too. I'm like, hold on a second. They're singing their own song in an interview situation, but because it's on Facebook, and because let's say Haley Jensen, Haley Jensen has a record company. Her record company is Social Family Records. So Social Family Records are the ones that ping you for anything that she does. <laughs> oh yes, you're a chatterbox. Oh, I am. You know that. <clears throat> you know that. I, I mean, that's you know that's why I made. <sighs> Hello, Dax. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Where's the darkness? I don't see darkness. I just see, you know, we're, we're finishing up because it's that time of night. Look at that. Oh my God, we've talked so much. So, yeah, so even if it was there full time, like even if SCS put it there, it depends on how many people listen to it. It depends. It, it still doesn't do anything for us. 
like you know I could put I could put it there and then we still don't get paid you know we've got to have some sort of commercialization we've got to be able to have advertising in our in our radio station and a lot of these things don't have what are you doing almost midnight I'll tell you what you're doing you're having fun you're having a great time you're speaking to Dax you love it it's good all right so yes easy to do the live streams you just add your stuff into that thing live underscore streams dot sii just open that file add yours and away you go and then there it is down the bottom country thunder australia yes i could turn it back on and it would work in there but yes i don't know i just don't know it's a lot to talk about my friend lots to talk about anyway we should go here we can raise off going to work no more Gonna take my time now that it's mine And I don't wanna be where there's no broken goal oh, This is the light These are the real things No are the heart of it Every day Every way the goal is a part of your life When the goal is a part of your life You can't be the feeling Right, there we go. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> many, many, many. No way. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have hit the point of no return. <laughs> we've, had, <laughs> we've had a wonderful, we've had a wonderful night tonight. 111 shares, 183 comments, 13 reactions, one clip. And as Gene said, a Thanks to everyone for coming to, into the stream tonight. Uh, you're, I'm going to have to start charging Coke for advertising. Uh, yes, I, I'll probably get a copyright ping just for doing that because it's probably copyrighted. It's a 1980s uh, advertisement. So <laughs> hashtag he went there. Yes, he did. Absolutely. All right. So. We had a great time tonight. Thank you very much. Let's have a look to see if anybody is streaming right now. Um, we'll see if we can't raid somebody. Um, let's, uh, here we go. What do we got? Mother of Dragons is playing, uh, what's this, Northwest Fixter? Never heard of it yet. Northwest Fixter is playing American Truck Simulator. And he's got nobody watching. Maybe we should go and try that one. Hey, let's go there because he's got no one watching. All right. Um, don't know where he's from. Um, raid someone who is drinking Coke. <laughs> Hold on, I'll just go ask him. <laughs> Okay, North Northwest Figster. Uh, Manny knows him, so let's go and do that anyway. All right. So that's me for the night. My name's Dax. You've been watching Country Thunder Trucking. As I always say, please keep it between the white lines because I can't. And don't forget to check out our website, countrythunder.com.au. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>